One time you called Megan John Pilger maybe the best quarterback you've ever seen. Is that you stand I'm by here. that statement? I'm standing by that statement. He is one of the best quarterbacks I've ever seen out here. But he doesn't throw it deep. And it's just and it's insane how his team will follow him and they they understand, they know the plays. Mm -hmm. Which is a surprise because most quarterbacks who try to run plays, you know, they, the team never bothers to learn them, but his team actually knows. Yeah, I think I know a team like that. I think our friend Mike Barnett played on a team like that. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Fourth down coming up here for Pilgers. As Game Breakers needs to make the stop. Rolls out to his right. Getting pressure. Throws it up. There's the second. A big stop for Game Breakers to stay in this game. This is what they need to get that offense started, Stevie. Maybe. First down, two, minutes, two minutes and 12 seconds remain in the first half as the Game Breakers are down by 20 points here in Jag Bowl 1. Back to throw. Pilger sends a rusher. Not going to get to him. Rolls out. Throws it down the field. Intercepted once again. There's the pitch. Still running. Still running. Foul. That's the third interception for the Pilgers defense. And Game Breakers usually doesn't even throw interceptions. Unbelievable turn of events here in Jack Bowl 1. This is slowly becoming Pilger's game. This is slowly becoming the Pilger's insurance show. <laughs> Just their own show. Pretty much. There's a nice little dump off. And there's a good pull by the Game Breakers defender. And we're at the one minute warning. Pilger is looking for more points here. There's the throw to the side. And there's a nice flag pull. The clock is running here at the one minute, under one minute. This is very smart. Usually teams will take a timeout here. But as the clock continues to run, it gives game breakers less time to get the, when they get the ball back. If they get the ball back, that is. <laughs> Throws it and it's intercepted. He's still running. Throws it back, and he throws it to a Pilgers defender. Well, once again, we have another interception. What do you call that? Steven, the word to describe what just happened here is I mean, stupid. why would you pitch that ball? I don't think you need to pitch that ball there. Stupid. You keep the ball. And he wasn't even pulled yet. And you know what? That gets Pilgers four new downs. Is this four brand new downs. First down here coming up. Roll out to his right. Avoids the rusher. Throws it up. And out of bounds. Incomplete. 30 seconds remains in the first half. Eleven seconds. Oh, excuse me. I thought that thirty. I was way off. <laughs> yeah, eleven seconds here. Maybe Pilger should have took those two timeouts, <laughs> or one of them at least. So, Pilger's insurance agency trying to score before halftime and extend their lead to twenty-six to zero. There it is. Rolls out to his right. Throws it down the middle. Stop. They're going to take a timeout. Four seconds remain, and about one more play will come. They're trying to score. So they spend their timeout. 
And this is weird. This is, I gotta say, I'm a little shocked by this first half. As this game had as much hype as maybe Alabama versus Florida on Saturday, it seemed like it. Almost as much hype. Yeah, I doubt it. I doubt there could be as much hype as that game. I can't wait for that game to happen. I am I am shocked that Game Breakers is falling apart like this. Yeah, they, they're usually a tight-knit group. Well, I mean, they've been winning. I guess, when you're losing. We, I mean, yeah. You know what's going to happen. But we do know we've got four seconds to play here in the first half. As Pilgrim rolls out to his right. Two rushers. Gets it up, jump ball, knock down, incomplete, and halftime. What a first half, Steven. So, halftime here in Jack Bowl 1 as the Pilgrims Insurance Agency finds himself up 20-0 to zero over Game Breakers. All right, we're here with expert Craig. What do you think of the game so far? Yep. Is that right? Three picks? Three interceptions. Not going to win a championship for one game right here. Not at all. Can, can they come back? It's always possible. I don't think they will. We'll have to go. It is. As Pilgers. Thanks, Craig, for that very insightful interview. Uh, as Pilgers kicks it off the game breakers. As they're going to stop just short of the 20. Smart strategy. It's smart. It's better than getting over the first Alright, let's take a look at our first half trends. <laughs> Interception. Yeah. Trend. yeah. That was a very frequent trend Once for Once is a mistake, game twice breakers. is an upset, three is a trend. Pretty much. And I don't remember Game Breakers moving to the Pillager side of the 40 either. They did. Yeah. <laughs> We've been I, was being, I was being nice there. You can't be nice in the championship games. That is true. You have to be real. Let's see if Game Breakers can mount a comeback here. As Pilger sends one rusher. There's the throw. Gets it out to his man. Still running. Past the 40. Still running. Foot race. Touch. And that's how you get back in the ball game. Game Breakers scores on their first opening drive. First play from their opening drive. <laughs> What a way to get back. I want to know what was said in that halftime huddle. They probably got cursed out. Pretty much. <laughs> you know, that always helps. Like that. <laughs> There's nothing like a good old touchdown to get you back in the ball game. They got to play some defense, though, Steven. That is true. But for now, they're going to be down by at least 14 with the extra point to come. Throws it up. Nice defense. Did he catch it? No. So 20 to 6 after that quick strike by Game Breakers. Okay, we're going to talk about last year's championship game now. Last year it was 3rd and 7 versus Land Sharks. Last year was a mess. And Gino was the head quarter was the head referee during that game. Great game, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until well, we'll talk. To, we'll talk more after this play here. Pilger rolls out to his left, has a man, incomplete. Great game, all up until one call, and then all of a sudden it turned into a daycare out here. <laughs> a daycare is an understatement. Ricky Ruffin decided he would protest. It turned into the nursery at the hospital. Yeah, so Gino decided to call ball game finally. This quick throw gets it out. First down, still running. Got the first down. Got the first down. It looks like they're playing better defense, though. Yeah, it does. So, basic conclusion is that Land Sharks walked away with the victory, but the game never really got to a fair conclusion. And it kind of cheated everybody, including the fans and the players. And the refs. But I doubt we're going to have that here. So, a uh, yard gain on that first down play, and it'll be second into the 40. Second down, 15, 16 to go. Let's get a stop, defense. 31, Come down right here. Mindset, set, go. There's a nice throw. 
Loy still running. Finally makes the flag 